YouTube, what's going on? If you're new here, my name is Roger. I own a company called QBO Tactical, where we make holsters and gear, and also some content for this channel. Uh, today is, is it Friday? It's Friday. Friday night. Yeah, this guy right here, t Sai, <laughs> Talon Sai is in town visiting. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> we decided at 3 a.m. we should uh, go ride around electric skateboards and one wheels with $8,000 night vision on <laughs> while we're a little intoxicated. Yes, it happens. But we Ubered, we're responsible. Um, except for the, the part about $8,000 night vision on. Um, we're skateboarding slash one willing to Derek's house right now, which it sounded like a good idea to wake him up, but we're not going to now. Anyway, uh, I try to record my night vision camera, but my battery's dead, so t is hooking me up with the uh, camera here. And yeah, like, this is what having fun is. Riding around your neighborhood in Summerlin, with night vision on and electric devices, so <laughs> let's start this vlog. Hey, oh. It is now Monday. I hope you enjoyed that intro as much as I did. I uh, had a blast filming with Talon while he was here over the weekend. Uh, make sure you're following him uh, on his channel, on his Instagram to see where he's at. Uh, I know he's in San Diego right now. That's where he left off to uh, on Sunday morning. But anyway, like I said, back here Monday. Let's go over what we got going on. Uh, first thing, got a lot of questions on the new trigger guard holster that we came out with. Uh, if you're in the Patreon squad, you've seen this thing around for the last few months as we've been kind of like prototyping and developing. But I did get a couple questions on Instagram about kind of doing a video demo on how this would be, uh, how you would draw from this, how you put it back. So kind of want to go over that right now. So I got my Glock 48 on here. Like any other normal holster that we make, our discrete, our more discrete holsters, you put the clip over the belt, you put the wing behind the belt, and then it goes in there, presses the grip of the gun into the body so it prevents printing. So, any normal draw, you would come out just like our normal discrete, more discrete holsters or inside the waistband holsters, you would come, draw like normal, get your grip, come out, present, do what you gotta do. The difference here is you can't just go back and reholster. I mean, you could, but we don't recommend it and we don't want you guys doing that and I'll explain why here in a second. But the way you would undo this, un undo the hook, the clip right there from your belt, pop it off, come up from underneath the gun now and you'll get that nice positive click that we all like. So, the reason we don't want you just reholstering when you uh, are using this holster, <clears throat> It doesn't have the funnel opening or the covering over the slide and the sight, uh, the sights and everything like that, so it's not going to just funnel in perfectly to grab on to that trigger guard for you and give you that nice audible click. Um, what could happen, this little like piece of your pant here where the, where the button goes, you know, if you come down super hard, inadvertently hit that, it goes inside the trigger guard area, and then boom, you end up having an ND negligent discharge uh, while you're trying to holster. So we don't want that happening, so we strongly recommend that if you're going to run these when you uh, go to reholster, undo it from your pants, put it back on, and that's that's how it should be. At the same time, a lot of questions were coming up about like, hey, if we're training, like would this burn you? Um, if you're a hardcore dude out there that wants to train with what you have, by all means, train with this. But it is no different than you've ordered a, a regular discrete holster that comes with a thin clip. So you can train with that holster where it's gonna provide full protection of the holster of the, uh, of the firearm, because the entire thing will be inside the holster. Train with that, that way you can reholster, do all your stuff. But then if you wanna have that more uh, minimalistic carry, um, that's what that's what we designed this for. Um, then you could run this when you go to carry. So you can train with the regular holster because the draw is going to be the same, presentation is going to be the same. Just the reholstering will be different. So that's what we ask if you're going to run this. A um, couple other things that we got questions about: the $35 price point. How do we get it down so low? So what we did when we started developing this, I reached out to my mold maker and had him look at our original, the first holster. One of the first holsters I ever made was our, our discrete holster uh, back when we started a long time ago. So. Um, as that mold developed into not being just a mocked up gun into our CNC vacuum design mold, which is the trim mold here for, we started looking at ways that we could cut costs down by introducing a trigger guard holster across all of our platforms. So not just Glock, but SIG, CZ, all, everything that we have. Um, so to do that, I wanted to try to avoid new design costs, new machine costs, stuff like that. So we talked to our mold maker and realized that if we were just to come down here underneath the trigger guard, extend up past where the adjustable retention is, make the adjustable retention the, the points of contact for both the mod wing, which, which prevents printing, and the clip. And in addition to that, I wanted some type of funnel opening, so we kept this little funnel block here, but extended it a little further out, and then went down along the polymer frame of the mold. We were able to come up with that design. And so, it literally is just a portion cut out, the trigger guard section, of a holster that we've been putting on the market 
um, that's been tried and, trust, uh, tried and trusted. So my thing, like we've had this as a prototype for probably three or four months, if not longer. Um, and the reason being, I wanted to run it, I wanted to get a good feel for it, make sure it was still gonna hold on nice and tight, which it does, even without having the uh, portion that comes up over the side channel. Um, but for me to be able to get it to a price point that I think makes sense, we had to be creative and look at ways that we could do that. So by reaching out to my mold maker and sticking with the design that we already had, um, in addition to that, it, it would keep the cost down for design work. It would keep the machining production cost down as well because I don't want to just make it for Glock. You know, we have it for the 43, the single stack Glocks, we have it for the double stack Glocks, but we want to make it for the MMPs, the CZs, the SIGs, uh, even 2011s if we can go that route. So um, that's that's how we came about doing it and what we're putting out there now. Um, don't get me wrong, guys. This is this can get pricey if you start adding all that Gucci stuff to it, our fabric overlays, the Cordoras, the cotton fabrics, uh, which don't get me wrong, we, we love when you guys do that. Um, but the adhesion process, it's actually more work for this because it's a two-piece design, so it's almost like doing a wingman uh, when we have to do the finishing process. So, But that is the Trigger Guard holster. We appreciate everybody that's been picking these up already. Um, the feedback's been really awesome and positive, so thank you guys. Um, we are doing our best to make sure every Friday that quick ships are restocked. So if you're a minimalist guy and you just want, or girl, and just want uh, a regular black one for 35 bucks and you don't want to wait the eight-week lead time, then definitely check out uh, the site on Fridays. Uh, I don't have a time when we update that. It's typically in the evening when Des, when Des uh, upload, or uploads the numbers, redoes the numbers on the website. But yeah, Friday's when we try to do that. Um, also, what do we have next? The Enforce, the new weapon light from Enforce. So this is their Wild 2. This was our holster sample that was sent to us, um, oh man, a few months back. But we have designed um, a holster for it. We had it, uh, we worked with our mold maker to get this mocked up in CNC for vacuuming. Um, if you've seen this picture right here, that's uh, Mr. Guns and Gear. He's running our secondary holster for his Glock with this light and the Aloha white pattern because he's gonna be doing a review on it. So reach out to him. Uh, always been a huge supporter of his channel, big fan of his channel. So um, definitely check out his review of the light when it comes out to get all the full specs on it. Um, this video, we appreciate all the feedback and support on the Bull Armory SAS2 Viper video. Um, it's been doing really well on the channel. I did notice though, like 60% of the people that watch that video aren't subscribed. So if you're out there watching this video and you're not subscribed, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button because it does help us out a lot. Um, speaking of subscribers, uh, have you guys seen this right here? So on Instagram, we hit 50K, huge milestone for us. Uh, we've been doing Instagram for seven years now and I cannot say thank you enough to everybody um, on that platform that supports us and, and follows uh, what we do every day. So huge, huge shout out to you guys and thank you for the love over there on IG. Um, but in regards to that Bull Armory video, man, I, I love shooting that video. It was just a fun gun to shoot. Um, however, I did notice that the Holosun 507K I'm having issues with, the red dot is going into the high left window in order for me to get a zero. And we'll cut to some footage here in a minute and show you. Um, but reach out to Hollow Sun. They're gonna end up having to replace it for me most likely. I thought it was a plate issue at first, but it turns out it's not, it's lined up. So definitely gonna look into that. For now, I'll probably run the uh, SIG uh, Romeo Zero um, as the same footprint as the Shield and the, and the 507K until the new one comes in. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, here, hand me that camera now, Matt. Appreciate it. We're actually gonna walk out to the uh, garage and see what we got going on out there. So, a bunch of stuff getting ready for assembly. Dez is over here, the Monday morning shipping. <laughs> this is just probably half of what she's got going on today. What's up, Dez? Hi. John getting stuff prepped up. Eric had a birthday. Yeah. We went and shot a AR precision match. Yeah, that was cool. Eric did really well. Check this stuff out right here. Eric, you also got a cool present. What'd you get, buddy? Yeah, look at this. Hey, yo. A little OCF action from Microtech. Oh, yeah. New favorite uh, fidget toy. Oh, yeah. That's calms me down real quick just going like this. What up, Fitz? Hey, what's up? So, what did we do this weekend, Fitz, on Friday? We stayed late. We made a pretty cool knife sheet and recorded the whole process for YouTube. Hey, yo. So yeah, Fitz and I stayed here on a Friday, uh, last Friday, and recorded an entire uh, video of us making a sheath for this really cool knife. I'm gonna give you a little quick preview of. Uh, it's right over here. So if you guys aren't aware, Fitz, his side hustle, which is an awesome thing, he makes 
custom knives. It's uh, Cycle Blade Works. I'll link it down below to his uh, Instagram. But he made this out of some Damascus steel for me and it came out amazing. Even did the carbon fiber with the uh, maroon accent and we figured the best thing to match it with would be a carbon fiber maroon Los Elegante sheath. So we actually have a full like ASMR style video that we did on it. And mainly it's pretty much, we just made a full sheath from start to finish without us talking. So I know some of you guys out there that like to uh, tinker in your garage, play with Kydex, you'll definitely enjoy that. But that'll be the next video that this guy here is gonna edit. So guys he's currently editing know. the video that we're watching right now. It's Inception right? part two. <laughs> Whammo, say hey to everybody. What's going on, Whams? You want some cheese? Yeah, hey, that's what you want, bud. Got a bath today. Yeah guys, so that's what we have going on on Monday. Um, I'm gonna get to working with Matt, get this stuff uh, done with editing, that way we can get up on the YouTube for you guys. But if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing because we post new videos every week. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up down below because that does help us out. Uh, if you wanna support the content, check out our Patreon link down below. Um, our Patreon members get first access to new content, new gear, special discounts, codes, giveaways. Um, they're honestly a huge reason why we can continue to create these videos for everybody. So thanks guys for checking out the video. As always, I will see you in the next one. channel guys consider subscribing because we post new videos every week if you're new to the channel i just said that son of a <laughs> cut take rooch channel consider subscribing because we post go dog <laughs> I, I <didn't> want <laughs> god